my research interests include stock price crash risk, corporate finance, and corporate disclosures. In my PhD dissertation, I am working on stock price crash risk. When I use the term stock price crash risk, I mean crashes of individual stocks rather than the entire market crashes. These individual stock crashes can happen when a strong negative news about the firm is released into the market. For example, very poor earnings of a firm can be one of the reasons for stock price of the firm to crash. In my thesis, I broadly ask what types of firms are more likely to experience stock price crashes. It is important to understand stock price crashes because these can lead to huge losses for investors. The losses can be severe for investors who do not hold very well diversified portfolios. By understanding what types of firms are more likely to crash, investors can avoid their losses to some extent. Before I discuss my research questions in detail, I would like to briefly talk about the theory of crash risk that I use to motivate my research questions. The basic idea is that some managers, due to career concerns or other reasons, tend to hide bad news about their firm from the market. If these managers hide bad news repeatedly, then the stock price of their firm gets highly overvalued. However, they cannot hide bad news indefinitely. They reach a certain point where they cannot hide it anymore. At this point, the accumulated hidden bad news is suddenly released into the market, which causes the stock price of the firm to crash. Hence, the theory suggests that firms where managers tend to hide bad news are more likely to experience a stock price crash than firms where managers do not hide bad news. It is important to note that stock prices can crash even when the manager does not hide bad news. But my research focuses on crashes driven by bad news accumulation. In one of my dissertation essays, I examine how promoter ownership affects stock price crash risk. Promoter shareholding is an important part of corporate governance in India. I examine how it affects the likelihood of a firm experiencing a stock price crash. In the second essay of my thesis, I examine whether the reputation of a CEO affects his likelihood of hiding bad news, consequently affecting the stock price crash risk of the firm. In other words, I examine whether firms managed by highly reputed CEOs are less likely to experience crashes than those managed by less reputed CEOs. The answer to the second question can also help us understand how a CEO's reputation affects his decision-making in the firm. Thank you.